Hello everybody, what is up Prof Toast here and today we're going to be doing my first impressions and reactions to the new Kingdom of Amalur Re-Reckoning official cinematic trailer. This is one I was actually pretty excited for when I heard the rumors of it because I was like, oh shit, they're actually going to remake it? And so yeah, that's actually a freaking badass because this one I felt was a really underrated game. Like, I felt it should have done a lot better because it had great combat, had a pretty fun story, so I was really surprised that it just didn't do well back in the day. So when I saw there's rumors going around of a new trailer, I was like, okay, okay, I'm definitely excited about this. So we're going to go ahead, check it out, and see what we think. Alright, let's go ahead and play. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. Alright, so we already got a badass female lead in there. I like the facial design, she's kind of cute. Why not? Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. Alright, that is actually looking pretty fucking cool. Kingdom of Amler, Re-Reckoning. Okay, let's see here. So, it's looking like we're getting a release date of September 8th of this year. Alright. Getting some good games at the end of the year already. And it looks like we got the Fatesworn expansion. Now, I gotta figure out whether the original uh, expansion packs, the Fatesworn, I think that was one of the original ones. I guess I'm gonna redo in the DLC, which is pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, all in all, the trailer's looking pretty freaking cool, I gotta admit. Uh, this is actually, see, this game, you know, to me it's pretty special because for one, it's one of the first uh, gameplay I've actually ever did on the channel. It was my very first Let's Play I did for a little while. It was back when I didn't know anything of, you know, leveling out my audio, so I was sitting there doing commentary on it and I barely, you could like barely hear my commentary. And I'm, I think it's also when I had a pretty crap mic too, I had like a... I think it's $12 mic I just got just for the time being because I was like, I gotta start my channel now. But yeah, so this is definitely pretty cool. I definitely will want to play this on the channel because this will be awesome. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. And uh, we do got one more thing to check out. Uh, it looks like they are going to be having a special edition for this. So yeah, it does look like the Fates Warren is probably going to be a full new expansion. Because I just looked it up uh, real quick, and the original DLC we had was the Teeth of Neros, uh, was the Legend of Dead Kel, and Weapons and Armor Bundle. So those are the original DLCs. So the Fates Worn one is actually a completely new DLC that's coming out in 21. So uh, sorry, 2021. So definitely really cool. You can see it, and looks like we're this one's of course by THQ Nordic, Big Huge Games, and uh, from what I could tell, I think that's Kaiko. But yeah, so definitely pretty cool. Alright, so next we're gonna go ahead and check out the Collector's Edition trailer. So this is pretty cool, they already um, got a Collector's Edition right off the bat. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have gameplay right now, because uh, I definitely am curious to see what the gameplay will look like and how the how much it'll change from the, what the original graphics look like. So. Let's go ahead and check out what we get in our Collector's Edition. Alright, so it's looking like... Alright, we got a cool looking statue. Alright. I can dig it. It's like a rogue. Yeah, definitely a rogue. Yeah, with a keychain. All right, pretty cool keychain. Got the collector's edition box. The, the original soundtrack. PC, PS4, oh, and artwork cards. So 
So yeah, so yeah, we are getting released on at least three course not switch. I'd be surprised if it was. But yeah, so not bad. Kind of curious on the price of it. I wanna. I mean, it'd be cool if it was like 80, 90. But seeing that it comes with the figure, I'm assuming it's probably gonna be 130, maybe. I don't know. Hold on, I'll go look it up real quick. Alright, so it looks like I was wrong with both my predictions. Um, it's not 80 to 90 or 130. It's actually going to be 109.99. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like in the middle of kind of where I was th thinking it was going to be. So it's, it's kind of decent. I'm curious. So let's see. The statue is 20.8 centimeters, 8.2 inches tall. So it's a fairly sized figure. It's about, I think, the standard size. So not too bad. I mean, it's definitely pretty cool. Um, price, yeah, it's a little bit up there. But other than that, yeah, I could expect that considering, you know, what it comes with. The only thing I do wish that um, some of these collector's editions would do is with the physical soundtracks, they would give you like a code so you can download it like digitally or something. Because the only problem nowadays is a lot of computers, even laptops now, don't even have a disk drive. So sometimes, like, yeah, it's half the time when I sit there and uh, got the soundtracks from other collector's editions, I had to figure out, you know, find a place to download it just so I can, you know, put it onto my phone to listen to it. But other than that, definitely pretty cool. I'm uh, definitely really excited about this game. It's going to be real awesome to see, you know, what new changes and improvements they've done to both the gameplay, the graphics. I'm assuming the original story will be about the same, just, you know, everything looking a lot pretty. Because even on the PC, the original one looks pretty decent when you max out everything. When you have, you know, of course, it running at like 120 hertz refresh rate and you have everything maxed out. It looks pretty decent, but you can tell it's pretty dated, so pretty excited for this so that's about it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy if you are new here maybe uh, leave a subscribe on the channel if you like this video that you saw here please leave a like on the video and if you guys did are one of the people who got kingdoms amal or reckoning back in the day when it came out uh comment below and also let me know what your guys thoughts are on this new remake i heard it's supposed to be a little bit more than a remake it's like, I don't know, just, I don't know if it's something like how Final Fantasy VII Remake was, where, you know, they took the original and just kind of expanded upon it. So if it's kind of like that, I'm down for that. That'd be freaking badass. But all in all, tell me what you guys' opinions are. Are you guys excited for it? Do you think this is going to be cool? And also, are you going to be getting this collector's edition? But all in all, that's about it for the video. I do thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.